Yo guys, back for part three. Okay, now we have Lightning Man's weapon, which would be effective against Hockey Man, which would be effective against Volcano Man, which would be effective against Forest Man. However, out of boredom, I have decided that I'm gonna fight. Well, yeah. I once got to Rolling Man by myself, but he's kind of irritating to fight, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna go for Forest Man now, as irritating as this stage proved earlier. So let's fight that little leafy hippie bastard. What's up, Ruffalicia? Oh, by the way, let me just show off the lightning flash, because it's pretty much the most useful weapon in the game. It's basically the Mega Buster, except it's more powerful and it kills half the enemies in the game way faster, so it's very useful. And it penetrates shields, making it infinitely more useful against some enemies. I don't remember if it's actually any use here, though. Oh, hey, what do you know? That makes this room even easier than it already is. <laughs> so, now, as I mentioned, these guys are easy with it. So this is why beating Lightning Man first makes the game so much easier. We got these little... What are they, anyway? Squid? Jellyfish? They're remakes of those Buster Shield enemies from the later Mega Man games. That's all I know. Now, if I remember correctly, Lightning is really not all that effective against this. So I'm gonna use the Mega Buster, Rocco Buster, some more. I apologize for any calling of Rocket Chan Mega Man that I may have done in this game, because honestly, what's the difference? As you can see, I'm doing a lot better today. this room as predictably, somewhat predictably easier, because it really makes the hardest enemies in this game kind of not that hard to deal with. You got these guys again, who I can skip. Now, unfortunately, it looks like Slowdown's back, irritatingly enough. Oh well. I'm not really sure what's causing that. Let me just, excuse me a moment while I close the program. Ah, here we go. And that seems to have not helped at all. Weird. What's up, monkey bro? Maybe it's just the proliferation of vines in this level causing the extreme slowdown. I apologize for it, guys. It's just as irritating for me as it is for you. Especially when it, like, stops at random and stuff. Alright. God. I'm not sure what's going on here, because I've never had such a bad slowdown problem with this game in before recently. Alright, now to fight Forest Man. Now, Forest Man is a boss which I have never really figured out how to deal with. He has an attack where he jumps and hits the ground and a vine pops up directly where he hits, meaning that you can't dodge it by jumping. And he has that attack, which I'm not really sure how you're supposed to dodge and dodge him at the same time. As you can see, trying to fight him without this weapon is somewhat difficult. With it, he's really not all that hard. Although, it's actually still one of the harder bosses, yeah, but... That's probably just me. Oh my god, that is kind of embarrassing to die in the last bar of life. Okay, time... Well, I still have enough V-Cannon, because thank god, Volcano... Volcanic Cannon is really not too much of an energy hog most energy efficient weapon in the game, in fact. Die! Okay, actually, he's not that hard if... Oh, God, no. Okay, so the big thing you have to do is not let him corner you, it seems. And especially avoid that whip attack, because it is really not doing you any favors. Okay, let's do this and stick. I'm guessing this is my last life. Yep. So, Volcano Cannon it is. Get ready to die, Forest Man. Random 
use this jump is really irritating sometimes. Note to self. Let the beetles hit you instead of actually being hit by him. Anyway, so there's Forest Man. Now, this is one of the most useless weapons in the game. You can probably guess that the direct contact weapon is going to suck a little. So, uh, yeah. There's the password. Next, Jet is weak to forest, presumably for the same reason in The Incredibles that capes were weak to, you know, jets. I mean, jets were weak to capes. So, let's go fight Jet Man. And hope that we can brave the stage. Oh, I completely neglected to mention! Now I have this which is basically the rush jet from some of the games. It's really not that useful except in certain cases though, because this game has taken careful steps. And hey, what do you know? Oh god. Alright, lightning flash makes these guys easier too. Crap. Killing them in exactly three hit- And these guys die in two, but honestly it's better to just buster rush them. So that you don't waste ammo you could be spending somewhere else. <laughs> you know, this game really is full of that off orangish red color. Have I mentioned how much I hate that color yet? Because I think I have. Ow. Thankfully, this game is also full of life power ups, which I am totally cool with. Test out the ice shield. <laughs> I have the power! Yeah, you know what? Screw you. Those birds are really not all that much of a threat. You barely even notice them, really. Now, due to the luckiness of memory, I can kill this guy relatively before, quickly before he becomes a problem. Now, if I recall correctly. Yep. See, Beetle Jet use number whatever. What's up, birds? Angry Birds. Here's one of the very few cases where I would probably use that against that one of those enemies. Mostly because of the fact that I don't like them when they pop up off the screen, although, judging from what I just saw, it wasn't really worth it. Fuck. Um, that was a nice and close save there. Not that it would have killed me, but, you know. You know, I should probably have just... Actually, do you remember that platform that's coming up that just killed me like 20 times last time I tried this level? Well, guess what? Screw you. Yeah, ow. Birds! You're collaborating with the rabbits, bunnies, whatever the hell they are, aren't you? See you swooping like a ninja right there? Look, just... Are you guys ever going to give up? Alright, now, let me just... Okay, never mind that. Alright, seriously, how is anyone supposed to get through here at all normally? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. There is no normal for a Mega Man series game. Ha ha ha. What are you talking about, you silly narf and sniff schmooze? Why am I rambling? Oh god. Okay, here is the best part of the level for the ice shield. Simply because, well... As you can guess, I'm on some platforms that are flying through a bunch of cloudy things that bring to mind Sky Chase Zone from Sonic 2. That'd be the hedgehog, not some sort of stupid restaurant. Now, the ice shield makes these birds not even worth thinking about, which is pretty useful because other than that, it's just a bunch of slight platforming. Which is really not all that hard if you know what to do. Oh. I like these sprites too, they're interesting to say the least. Oh god, oh god. Why did I do that? Eh, it's not like I'm gonna use this, I suppose. We let's kill birds, even though we don't have to. Now, if I recall correctly... Yes! Score one for me. Alright, Jetman. Jetman is a dick! He's really quite irritating. He even rushes you first thing in the battle. 
And he looks like he's having an orgasm every time he attacks with his missile. It's kind of creepy. Because all. Ah! Oh my god, I just died. <laughs> okay, that was probably very rude of me, and I'm sorry about that. But anyway. That is Jetman. He flies like a ninja and stuff. Go away. I am going to beat you with my long thing. Okay, I'm honestly being way too rude in this video, so... It has spikes on it. DIE! Woo! <laughs> I will hop on your grave! And then you get the jet missile, which, despite being the homing missile, is also kind of useless because you're never really going to want to use it, because it's like, jet, missile, jet, missile. It's a jet, but it's also a missile. And it homes. Okay. Not Sherlock Holmes. Should I try and play Strip Rolling Man? Eh, I got four minutes. It'll accept up to 15 minute videos, and apparently higher, so what do you care? Rolling Man is kind of irritating. He has a weird pattern, and it always makes me feel weird. Also, his level is in space, for reasons I cannot ascertain. Space equals meteor enemies, and some sort of fairy thing that looks like it was... It honestly looks like they took it out of another game, because it drops bombs, but it looks like a little sprite. This room reminds me of Mega Man Odyssey's Duplex Man, because of these little grabber things, and it's in space and stuff, so you know. You got your little UFO things, which are kind of like Gal Galaxy Man from Mega Man 9. And here is one of those effects that is not fairly interesting. The level rotates. I suppose that's a nice gimmick for a level based on rolling. You know, I don't like those grabbers. I've tried every weapon, and unfortunately, even in a serious fan game for a series where enemies usually have at least one item that will kill them. Oh, and the galaxy things shoot. But anyway, the crushers are completely and utterly invincible. Very quite irritating. And, since they're invincible, they destroy your ice shield, too, so if I... Anyway, let's rotate this room. Gee, who knew it was gonna get rotated? In case you're wondering, there are spikes down there, which are hidden due to my... Well, they're off-screen for me, even, so it's not just the camera range. Well, for... Sure do love the slowdown! At least this level doesn't have too much orange in it. Go away. Those attacks aren't too hard to deal with, but they do make trying to rush them with the ice shield impossible. Now, normally this area takes a really long time, but thanks to that wonderful, wonderful item known as the bug jet, I can just speed right through here and get regularly cut off by bombing enemies, and maybe I can go under them this time? Those are trains, on spikes. They're pretty cool. Woo. And here is the room where the ice shield is a lifesaver. Because you can just activate it, and be all like, doo -doo -doo. As long as you kill the UFOs quickly or dodge their lasers, because those things will totally wreck your shield. Really hating the slowdown. Maybe I should rename this Narf Complains About Slowdown and there's a game in there somewhere. At least the music doesn't slow down, that's cool. Without the music, I'd probably have gone insane by now. Oh yeah, and those... Now, if I recall correctly, there's one more room and then we fight Roland Man. I see me rolling, the hating. Alright, Rolling Man's attack pattern is really just kind of weird. I won't bother to show it off because he's actually kind of irritating to fight, but here you go, Rolling Man. His weapon is kind of irritating because it's one of those bounce everywhere weapons, but luckily since this level takes place in space, you have a higher jumping rate. I always think he's going to ram me every time he uses that. But it seems that I finally got that out of my head. As you can see, his weakness makes him really quite easy. 
You didn't get to see an attack where he jumps in the middle of the screen and shoots things everywhere. Anyway, his weapon is that tri-splitty thing that he used earlier, which, you know, bounced all over the place. You got rolling ring. Yep. Despite the fact they don't actually roll at all, they just sort of bounce. So, you see that? That means that I have three E-Tanks and have reached Dr. Mad stages. We will be starting in the Dr. Mad stages next time and hopefully be using a better camera angle. Until then, 